Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to download Aster GDEM data from the NASA Earth Data website. So first I will show you how to reach this website. You can go to www.search.earthdata.nasa.gov slash search and then you can reach this website. If not, you can do a very simple Google search. You go to google.com and search for Earth Data search NASA and you can see here the first option is the website that we exactly need so just log into that I'm just going to clear this out by minimizing this so here you can see actually it provides us with a map so that we can clearly specify for which area we need to download the, the DEM uh, there are multiple ways of actually specifying the, the area. If you click here, you can see that you can actually draw a polygon or you can draw a rectangle or even you can have the option to uh, import something like a shape file where you, can, you have actually specified the boundaries of the region where you need to download the DEM for. Okay, so the first option is actually go to instruments over here and check Aster. Okay, after that, zoom into the area where you need to download the DEM for. So in this case, I'm going to download the DEM for a part of uh, South Africa, somewhere near Cape Town. And I'm going to select my area using the simple selection method of a rectangle. You simply draw a rectangle on top of the region that you need to download the DEM for. Just give it a minute. And if you expand this matching collections over here, you can see that uh, under the Aster Global Digital Elevation Model V002, it says that it has found four granules. Just click on this, and it will show you which granules you can actually download. You can see covering the rectangle, which was specified by you, it provides us the opportunity to download four different granules covering that area. So you can actually either download all of these four granules uh, at one time using this download all option. Or if you are just simply interested in downloading one of the granules, you can actually simply click on that. And you can see the information corresponding to those four granules. So, and when you just run your mouse cursor on top of that, you can see actually each of the granules are getting highlighted. So in my case, let's say that I need to download the, the the top right granule so I'm just going to stop over here and click on this one and then uh, you click on this button configure and download single granule data now after that it will actually redirect you to to your profile now the thing is if you have not created the profile for yourself you have to actually first create a profile but in my case, I have already created a profile uh, using my email ID. It doesn't take much time and it's uh, pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, after it loads up, you can actually see some information regarding the request that you just made. You requested to download one granule and here it shows the size of that granule. And, and you will have to basically uh, select the reason why you are going to uh, download this information. Uh, for my case, it's it's for some research related to uh, water resources. So I'm just going to select water and basically I'm just going to uh, agree with these two conditions as well. And select continue. And here you'll be able to see your information, your name, your organization, the country and any affiliations. So you can again select submit over. And here under the option Aster Global Digital Elevation Model V002, you can see that your orders are still pending. So you, you might have to give it some time, maybe around a couple of minutes. And what's going to happen is that it's going to send you an email with a link to download your request. And after a while, you will be able to see that your status has changed now. 
and you can simply uh, log into your email and you will receive an email something that looks like this with the order notification and if you just scroll down over here and if you scroll down a little bit you will be able to find the the download link over here just click on that I'm going to save this one it'll look like this and you can see the saved file just extract it over here and this is the file that we are looking for now to open this file you can use your GIS software uh, for me I'm using ArcGIS uh, it could be another GIS software for you like QGIS or Global Mapper or Map Window any software is capable of opening this kind of a DEM so what I'm just going to do is uh, I'm just going to open so you can open ArcGIS like this and simply just drag it and drop it say yes and here we go this is our DEM now, now based on your GIS software you can do different types of uh, color classifications so that's about it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed. If you have any further questions, please feel free to comment below. Thank you.